Hey guys, welcome back to my channel <laughs> and welcome to another episode of my little series where we are making a pastel blossoms uh, journal <laughs> uh, with my digital kit um, and we make it from start to finish together. Uh, so yeah, my puppy is very interested in what I have on my desk. So um, in the last episode, we made the journal cover. Um, this is it. Um, the link will be in the description box if you are interested. So you can check it out. I really like how it turned out. Very sort of whimsical, magical. And yeah, so I'm happy about this. In the meantime, I did my signatures. I, uh, if you would like to know how I uh, choose pages for my signatures, I will also link a video below. I have, I have it um, in my previous junk journal with me series. And uh, yeah, and today I thought we could make the first page. I will show you quickly how um, how I assembled the signatures, what pages I have here, and also um, what we are going to do today is um, we will be decorating this first page of the first signature. So let me put this aside. And so these are, I'm going to have three signatures. They have about 11 or 12 sheets, folded sheets of paper inside. And um, it, this may be too much. I don't know. Maybe I will have to remove some of the pages, um, but I'm not going to worry about it now. We will see how we go. So the first pages of the signatures are the pages from my kit. And let me quickly show you what I have inside. So on the backs of my pages, I printed um, lace printables from Liana Scraps on Etsy. And uh, I do have some background pages uh, in my own kit. I have four background pages, but I decided to use them as like regular pages because I wanted to decorate over them and just have some fun with them. Um, yeah, so I have book pages, just a regular, you know, assortment of papers. I have coffee papers, which we are going to have fun with, with some inks and mixed media and some embossing maybe. Uh, then there is a page from my kit. This is the tea stain page that I used leftover paint from when we were painting the cover. So this is just acrylic paint that I had had. I had left over and when acrylic paint is dry you can actually uh, write over it so it's nice and gives this mixed media look then I have a journaling page from my kit with some lines some more book pages I really like this one because it's um, I like the color you know it's looks very vintage Then I have um, tea stained ledger paper another journaling page from the kit and um, this is a fun big uh, book page that I folded because obviously it was too long and I didn't want to cut it and we can have some fun with with decorating that as well and then in the middle of the first signature is this page from my kit I think this one is my favorite I, I really love how, how it looks uh, here in the middle so we might do just a little bit of something to it um, then this is the other side of this big book page and then the journaling page from my kit the same pages the other side of the journaling page the painted page uh, page from my kit coffee coffee stained paper with some doily imprints beautiful book page and this is the first signature and the second signature is uh, starts with this beautiful pansies and again lace printables on the back more coffee stained papers beautiful book pages uh, 
if you guys would be interested in like oh this is also a book page it looks it feels for me like a vintage magazine um but but it's a book page so if you guys would like me to do a video on sharing some of my favorite botanical and flower and nature books uh vintage books that i use for my journals let me know i would love to make a video like this if you would be interested this is for my kit as well i love watching those videos from other crafters so and i have quite a collection of nature books uh, i think i have a slight problem uh, this is a uh, antique uh, music paper that i folded and we will make some pockets here so yeah so i i think i may have a slight problem you know with <laughs> buying too many nature books but i love them so much and i actually usually find them quite cheap uh used books quite cheap on amazon so that's good okay so this is the second signature and the third signature again the page from my kit uh beautiful beautiful book page this is from one of my favorite nature book books more coffee stained paper this is a background page from my kit like i said decided to use it as a regular page because then we can collage over it or do something with it to uh to you know uh I don't know, decorate it. Uh, vintage ledger paper. This is from Janet Marsh's Nature Diary book. A uh, journaling page from my kit. This is again from this book. It feels like a newspaper, but it's a book page. I really like the texture and the, the color. I don't usually use photographs in my journals. I tend to use um, illustrations, but this this is gorgeous. I, I love it. I love how vintage it looks. Another um, background page from my kit. Here is a regular page. Book pages, very pretty. And the middle of this signature is this page with beautiful irises. Gorgeous illustration here. It's a music page that I just... Um, tea stained or coffee stained more of these painted pages these lace printables are really nice if you guys haven't checked Liana's scrap on Etsy yet uh, go check her out if I remember I will put her link below because she has some really pretty digitals I really like her shop okay the book page with beautiful blue flowers and the last page Okay, so that's our signatures. For now, they fit quite comfortably here in the cover. We will see how we go when we bulk this up. As you can see, I've, I haven't done the inside yet. We will be doing the inside together too, I think, because I want to do something fun with the inside. But for now, what I had in mind was decorating the first page and if you guys have seen some of my previous journal flips um, I like to do an altered envelope flip window envelope flip uh, sort of in the in the front of my journals and um, I thought we could do this here and the envelope is going to be a pocket it will flip with some journaling space uh, and then we can do something something here because uh, that's why I chose this first page to be kind of plain, you know, no flower images, so we can do something fun here. And uh, what I thought we could use for this, I have a misprint. <laughs> My uh, printer kind of um, rebelled <laughs> and it did not print a full page. Uh, when I was printing out my kit. So I thought we could use this image uh, in the front. And it's funny because I actually chose the same image on the back, but it's just kind of, it's beautiful. So I don't think, you know, anyone will mind. <laughs> I hope so. And what I thought we could do, I have this, um, this die here and I was thinking that we could cover the envelope 
with this paper and then cut this shape from the picture so from like the iris and put the iris inside the envelope that's what i think i want to do and how do i want to how do i want it placed let me think for a second because it's mm -hmm. Okay, you know what guys, so what I usually start with is, first of all, cut my um, envelope to size. So let me take my ruler and let me make sure how tall this is. This is 20 centimeters. Okay, so I will cut it just a tad bit shorter than my page, just to be on the safe side. And I also, I also open my envelopes uh, when I do it and then I close them with just glue or stitching because it's so much easier working on, uh, on the envelope when it's open. And okay, so like this and let me think because I would like this window to be on top but on this side so I think what I'm going to do actually is open this envelope here and turn it around not sure if this is going to work but if I turn it like this then I have my window in this spot where I want it. And it doesn't matter because the whole thing is going to be covered up. So yeah, so this is this is our envelope. Let me see if the size is okay. Yes, it is. So this is, you can see how it's going to look like. Um, we will have a pocket or maybe two pockets here. Okay. So now, now, um, this is going to, <laughs> since I want this iris in the window, I think I'm actually going to make my envelope even a little bit shorter, so like a like a quarter of an inch or even half an inch shorter so that I can place it more the way I like it okay and yeah and like this it should work so you know what guys I'm going to take take this take my sorry for the noises take my um and I'm going to just go ahead and cut this. Well, I'm kind of, I'm kind of not very mobile at the moment because my doggo is sleeping on my lap. So I'm trying not to move too much. Okay, so let me just take this piece off. We can do something with it later. And I'm going to cut the iris the way I want it. I hope this is going to work. And I hope this is going to, to look nice. Okay. No. Like this. Right. I really need new plates for my... Um, for my Sizzix. They are so, uh, so, you know, disfigured. Okay, all right. So this is going to be in our window. Now let me move this aside. Again, without standing up and waking the puppy. <laughs> all right, so. This is, yeah, mm -hmm. so I do see, 
just a little bit of the white uh, in there but actually I think I can I could just maybe get rid of this white edge a little bit so like this so just we don't we won't um, you know see it through our window I'm not sure if, if it will do the job but we will see and I have a fun idea of how we are going to hinge it to our page which is inspired by another crafter and I will tell you all about it when we when we are hinging okay it worked now I don't see the um, the white edges so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it straight on so we can cut it around and and see how it looks I'm using my wet glue it's sort of like a tacky glue dries clear and I'm going to be sewing around it so I'm not you know like too worried about gluing it perfectly so far mm -hmm. so I think this is how I want it oh, so so crooked <laughs> okay mm -hmm. that should work yep that should work so we're going to cut around it <clears throat> So that we can see how it is looking. So as you can see I'm not I'm not even trying to measure things because it would just take me too much time and, and I don't want to, you know I don't want to spend my time measuring, I want to spend my time crafting and just going with the flow, so uh, so I, I I'm usually just eyeballing everything. Okay, not this edge. Can I still see guys that's what happens when you go in without a plan can I still unglue it no not really I wanted to um, to ink the ink around it but I think we can still do it so uh, and we will be gluing up inking around the uh, the image in the window too okay so oh so cute and now how it will look very nice so let me take my my vintage photo and go around it while I remember to do it And I thought, I also thought of adding maybe a little bit of gold, like, you know, like we've added to our cover with the gold paste or wax. Okay, now the image. Let me see if I 
I can add some some gold. This is just this um, gold wax from Daily Art with the color gold. Uh, and I will just go around trying not to um, touch the, the plastic part but even if I do it comes off pretty easily from from the plastic so I just want some gold around here. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue this under here. So, um, how have you guys been? I I haven't been here for a while. I haven't been posting that many videos lately. I've I've really had a kind of a hard couple of weeks. I was I wasn't well. <laughs> And I was struggling, uh, I don't know, I was struggling with everything basically. And, and so I lost, I kind of lost my mojo and um, yeah, I like it. And uh, I didn't, I don't know, I just, I didn't feel like like do well i was doing what i had to do you know so like work like do the the basic things but i just wasn't up to anything else and it felt awful but uh, thankfully i'm i'm feeling much better now uh and i'm so excited about getting back to crafting and making this journal with with you all because i think it's going to be such a fun project. Okay. So just making sure I place it exactly, you know, in the window. Okay. Right, so here is how our envelope is looking now. And this is our window, which is cute. So what next? What would I want to add in here as well? This is going to be glued down and I will have one or two pockets. So maybe let me see what we can do here. And I have my my printed collage papers here and I was thinking of adding some Tracy Fox because so I printed her archive papers on a thicker copy paper it's like a lightweight cardstock and it would give our our envelope sort of more substance you know it wouldn't be so um, flimsy so I want but I'm not sure if they aren't going to be like too, too vintage for it, too brown, maybe this, hmm. this one. They would fit better, but then I have them printed on a very um, thin paper, so I'm, I'm not sure how well this will hold. Yeah, but I like this one, 
so I think I'm going to to go with this one. Let me see. I could use this as a sort of my base because this image uh, here, it's not. I'm not going to be able to use it. So this would actually be nice as my substance. Um, I, I just want this envelope, you know, to be th thicker, so it won't. It won't. I don't know. Uh, Lost for words. <laughs> Let me glue this down here. Like this. Really love how, how the gold looks. Really gives something special to this to this window. Okay, now I'm going to cut around it. I still have this piece that we can use for something. Okay, so now let me put this aside and I'm going to glue it down. I'm, I'm going to use glue stick this time because this is a thin paper and I don't want it to warp too much. And even if glue stick is not very well, I don't trust it very much. I'm still going to be sewing around the whole thing, so it really won't matter that much. I want it to be kind of even. Mm. Kind of. Okay, this should work. <coughs> so yeah, so I hope you guys have been okay. Um, the life is slowly, you know, getting back to normal, or maybe not that slowly actually, maybe even a little bit too fast for my liking. I don't, I don't know if it's a good idea, you know, people are, a lot of people are behaving like everything is, is okay now, like the epidemic is, is over when it's when it's not, we still have new cases every day. Uh, so I'm so careful about meeting people and going places. Even though it it would be so nice to to just meet up with my friends. Taking it slowly, I think that's, that's smarter than just going all in. Okay. Yep, like it. So this I'm going to save for later. Okay, so this is going to be the back of our envelope. Let me ink it around. And thank you again all uh, to all of you who who have supported my shop by, by purchasing this kit from me. I'm I'm so grateful and I'm so happy you like it and thank you for your beautiful reviews. Um, 
it really it, it really makes me happy and even you know when I had um, this difficult time lately I, I was just uh, uplifted with all the beautiful words you guys you guys left me in the reviews and by all your purchases it's it's you know it's a good way to to support uh, creators that that's what I do as well buying digitals I buy a lot of digitals and especially in this time when you know shipping is not that easy international shipping especially uh, it's a good good way to support small businesses by buying digitals from them so I've been buying a lot of digitals lately and I'm, I'm excited to to use them in my future projects okay so what would I want to do here <laughs> definitely some some little collage maybe. what do I have here oh I could use one of the so this is the add-on kit and I'm thinking of using one of those faux tea cards uh, which one would I like maybe the, the iris is here so we're just going to make a little collage in the in the back here to add some interest to our page and I'm also thinking of adding some fabric to the front as I just feel like we need some more texture <laughs> to do all of this papery work that we have going on going to be hinged here so I want a collage on this side and I think I have some music paper somewhere here oh, do I oh, I have this piece okay. so last weekend um, we went to visit my boyfriend's family and it was the first time I was there it was the first time I met I met with them and they live in, in like um, countryside so it was so so beautiful there and and so you know so different from from sort of where I live because here in in Krakow we there's so many people guys there are so many people everywhere and I guess this is obvious this is a big city this is what big cities are like but I'm just I'm so tired um, and it was so refreshing for me to to be in this place where I could actually go um, go outside you know and walk for an hour and not meet anyone uh, not to say that I'm anti-social or anything but you know how sometimes you need just you need to rest from the crowds of people uh, and especially people you don't know like like in a big city it's just it, it gets so tiring sometimes <clears throat> So this was actually the first time in days that I felt, <coughs> sorry, I felt slightly better at just being there uh, with all the nature around and having just some nice time with my boyfriend and meeting his wonderful family 
it was so so nice okay i think i still need some more texture okay so puppy goes off my lap unfortunately let me just grab some of my fabric scraps and let's see what we can what we can find here i think just some cheesecloth would be fine behind the tea card to add just a little bit of something to it so yeah so i'm a bit tired of um of the big city i've i've lived here whoa i've lived here for for almost 10 years uh ever since i i was 19 i moved I moved out from home and came here for my studies and in all of that time you know it never it never felt quite like home for me so it never felt like it was my place um so i i'm, I'm definitely like i want to live somewhere else but just for now, you know, it's it's comfortable with work and just having everything so close. I just can't imagine starting my family here, I guess. Or just, you know, building a home. I think I'm still missing something. So let me grab my ephemera holder that we actually made together and maybe... I could use some label so I have these stickers but I'm thinking Tracy Tracy Fox where's my Tracy random here I have my random or Tracy's random uh, numbers here maybe put this one like that and just one more just a big I want something small maybe like this do I have maybe something blue this is blue yeah definitely like the blue more <coughs> Okay, so I'll start gluing things. Oh, I'm so excited by the way because I today I'm going to the post office <laughs> to finally ship all of my uh, orders, uh, the the spring journals uh, for you guys who who ordered from from the US which is so exciting um, um, unfortunately I still cannot ship oops, sorry for knocking the camera I still cannot ship to Australia uh, which which is a bummer because I have some orders from Australia as well but they offer you know it's not like I can't ship at all I just I can't ship with a type of shipping that I would trust because they offer a very um, unreliable and slow uh, shipping option to Australia right now and I don't think it even has any kind of tracking so I just wouldn't you know wouldn't like to send something that someone paid a lot of money for with 
with the shipping option that I just don't trust. So um, I'm going to have to wait a little bit longer, hopefully not too long, to be able to ship to Australia. But the US packages are going uh, going out to today, which is so exciting. Can't wait for you to guys for you guys to receive them and uh and you've been so patient that that's incredible thank you so much for your patience uh okay so i like our little collage here yep it looks nice okay and this is the front so what do i want on the front this part here is where i'm going to do the hinging so i'm not sure i want to do anything here but maybe maybe here where i want the pockets or, or maybe top and bottom let me see i have some new sorry silks I have some new sari silks that I ordered from Perignon's and some of you guys uh, asked me where I order my, my sari silk ribbons from and this is the shop Perignon's on Etsy, they ship from the, U, uh, from the UK and uh, the quality is, is awesome. Okay, I think I want this one. So, so pretty. And what do I want with it? Hmm. Well, first of all, find the end. <laughs> okay, it's here. Just need to untie it. And I think maybe... Maybe a ruffle down, down the side and on top here. So like, let me cut two pieces that are slightly longer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would like that. So guys, I'm going to pause you for a moment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew these two up here, like ruffled a little bit. And um, then I'm going to sew all around the, the, oh wait, do we want, no, okay, I'm going to sew all around the, uh, the, the, the front, then all around the back, so to add some more texture, you don't have to do it, of course, and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I'm back, and this is how it looks. I really like it. I love uh, the the texture that the sorry silk ribbon added here. So I've just sewn with this very light pastel uh, blue thread and I left this side uh, without stitching because this is where we are going to be hinging. So this is what the back looks like. So there's space for journaling, stitching here, all around the three sides. This one was left as well and the collage. And now for the um for the the hinging it's it's going to be an experiment i've seen this in a video by crafty law maddie she, here on youtube she has one of the most beautiful um beautiful uh journals i've seen and she does hinging with those little like jewelry jewelry jump rings i think they are and eyelets and we are going to attempt to do the same so first let me glue my envelope close and i decided to have just one big pocket and we will probably make some some big journaling card in some other video to put in there so we will need two eyelets in my page and two eyelets in my envelope and I want them, you know, kind of, 
they have to match. <laughs> oh god, I don't know what I'm doing here, but hopefully it will turn out just fine. So, okay, let's let's say I will measure <laughs> this one. So I want if this will be my middle, then I want one, one, two, three, maybe here and here, and then one, two, three, so here and. Yeah. Okay. And also, I think I want to reinforce this page. So I'm going to use one of my washi strips that I have in the kit. Uh, and I'm going to maybe tear it actually. So just I'm going to tear it and I'm going to put it on the edge of the page on the other side so when I'm when my eyelid um, eyelids go through and when I'm my, I'm hinging my envelope it's it's going to be a bit more secure uh, this way so I won't have to worry about the the edge of the page actually ripping out and I printed this washi on a thicker photo paper. I think it was a hundred and ninety GSM. Not sure what it is in pounds, I'm afraid, but it's it's a thick one, so it's going to be just fine for for what we needed here. And let's say I want it like like this. Yep, now inking the edges. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know Maddie, uh, Crafty Law, go check out her channel, guys. She her journals are among the most beautiful and the most detailed that I've seen. Uh, she works a lot with Medieval Mirage, with Joff's kits, which is fabulous. I mean, she does fabulous work with them. And I love, love, love her videos so much. She inspires me so much. So she does a lot of this hinging with jump rings. And I wanted to give it a try ever since I I saw it for the first time in one of her videos. So I'm glad I'm, <laughs> I'm finally getting to it. All right, now I'm going to punch my holes. Well, that's, that's the stressful part because uh, I really don't know what I'm doing here, but I, I want to try some new things in this journal. I have some things I wanted to try for some time and I think it's it's a good time as any, you know, to try new things with this journal. Okay. Now I'm going to punch my holes in in here too. Am I punching? Yeah, okay, I'm punching through the the reinforced piece of paper. Okay. Uh, then let me take just four regular eyelets, nothing fancy, nothing decorative. Just want we just want them to hold our envelope. Okay, so I'm going to close them one two Okay. Right. 
Okay, and now for for the fun part. So what what uh, what do I do with these jump rings? I was thinking about joining two of them together. So like the first one is going to go through this first eyelet. Okay, can I close it? Kind of could have made it a little bit closer. These are very small rings, I don't have anything bigger but should work. Okay, so I have one ring here and then the other one is going to be joined with it. And maybe, yeah, okay, so maybe three rings per eyelet, per, per pair of eyelets, sort of. Okay, so I'm going to close the second one. And I'm not a jewelry maker. I've never I've never actually worked with these so so I hope I'm I'm doing this right. Okay. And the third one will go through this eyelet and it will join join my my eyelets. So let me do the same thing with the bottom one. So the first ring just goes here. Well, I really don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> okay. Oh, let me close it. Okay. Kind of close. I thought it was closed. I don't want it to go off. Sorry guys if you can't see what I'm doing very well but uh, but here is what I did with the first one. So I used the ring through the eyelet and joined the other ring with it and I'm going to use the third ring to to um, attach it to the to the page. Okay so the second ring goes through here so I'm just using these these pliers to to bend the metal and then then to bend it back, sort of, so that um, so that uh, what do I want to say? Ah, so that I close the the ring. Okay, now hope this ring isn't. To, you know what guys I think I'm going to have to I'm going to have to shorten this page a little bit because my rings are too small I kind of haven't anticipated them being too small so I'm just going to cut off this edge I'm going to ink it up and this should work better. Uh, okay. But I really do like how these eyelets actually add another decorative element to our um, envelope. To really add something, something nice. Okay, so where's my ring? Now it should work. Yep. Oh, I need to order some bigger rings. <laughs> okay, let me close maybe. I'm going to close this one. And I think I'm going to open this. And slide it through here. Okay. So I join them together like this, close this, oh come on, stay here, <laughs> oh my goodness guys, okay, yeah, I have it, 
Oh, and that's so cute. Oh my goodness, isn't this just the cutest? I love it so much. Okay, <laughs> uh, love trying new things and especially, you know, when they work out. And um, don't, you know, don't worry guys if you make mistakes like he when I, when I needed to cut the page. This is, journal making is such an organic process, I think. There are no rules here and you can cut and cover things up and add things and do whatever you like and fix things numerous times and um, you know no one will ever know okay and now I'm going to join this together okay open this ring up slide this one through here and close this book. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay, I need to hold it in this angle, I think. Hope I'm not putting my head in a frame. But this isn't Oh, this isn't that easy. Okay. Oh. Right. Oh, almost closed. Almost there. Okay. Yeah. Maybe just a little bit. A little bit more. I don't want them to to come off. Definitely not. So. did it <laughs> and I love how it looks oh my goodness so let me show you the whole thing this is the first page of our uh, journal and the first page oh um, I think I'm going to sneeze <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> allergy season so this is the first page of our signatures we have the window pocket here we are going to <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> going to uh, make some journaling card or some tag to go in there and yeah I love the texture so here's a close-up we have our eyelids here now when we open this up we have journaling space we have some collaging and we have our jump rings joining this together so there is that and on the other side of the page we just added a strip of my faux washi tape to reinforce it and uh, it even matches you know the book page so it's it's nice so yeah I like how it turned out I hope you guys enjoyed this little project and uh, I can't wait to make more ephemera with you for our pastel blossoms journals so yeah stay tuned guys and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!